Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionals. One more time, we continue our discussion about our playlist called Pulmonology. In previous videos, we have talked about bronchiectasis and all of the obstructive lung disease. Today, we'll talk about Cartagenar syndrome, also known as primary ciliary dyskinesia, also known as immotile cilia syndrome, when your cilia are incapable of moving. With that being said, now let's get started. So here is the cilia structure for you. You have two central singlets and nine peripheral doublets. Some people call it, in brief, nine plus two arrangement. Okay, I don't care. Here is a central bridge. We don't care about this right now. Here is a nixon. We don't care about this now. And here is a dining arm. We have outer arm and inner arm of dining. This is what we care about because this is going to be defective in cases of Cartagenar syndrome. Now all of your cilia are not capable of moving anymore. Your sperm has a special type of cilia or kind of a slightly different type called flagellum. And this flagellum is basically the same concept. It has a dining arm. So in Cartagenar syndrome, the sperm is not moving. Symptom? Infertility in males. Also, your respiratory system has a mucociliary escalator. They keep beating up those debris to the outside. They go only in one direction. And in Cartagenar syndrome, you will get some pulmonary infections. Next, in the sinuses, you have the same thing. You have cilia. And these cilia, if they are not working, you will get sinus infection, also known as sinusitis. The fallopian tube, they have cilia. This tube is not capable of beating and directing the ovum into the cavity of the uterus or the uterine cavity. And by the way, here is a quick fact for you. When the ovum rupture from the ovary during ovulation, it pierces the peritoneum and then goes into the fallopian tube, something that your biology teacher didn't tell you. That's why he is a biology teacher. He's a glorified classifier. And this will lead to female infertility. Three names are synonymous. Primary ciliary dyskinesia, immotile cilia syndrome, and Cartagenar syndrome. The normal structure of cilia, 9 plus 2 configuration of the cilia and with cilia and microtubules, okay. Normally, the dining arm has two main functions. Number one, it contains ATPase, so it will break down the ATP. Energy is stored in ATP. When you break down ATP, you release energy and this will help the movement of the cilia. It also keeps the nine microtubules bound together. This is the dining. Now the problem in immotile cilia syndrome that there is no dining arm. It's defective. Therefore, the cilia cannot move. Therefore, the cilia in your paranasal sinus are not moving, leading to sinusitis. The cilia in your mucociliary escalator in the pseudostratified columnar ciliated epithelium with goblet cell in your trachea and upper airway are not moving, leading to bronchiectasis. Sperm has a flagella, leads to male infertility. The fallopian tube, they have cilia, leading to female infertility. Also, organs are located on the opposite side. And instead of your lung like this, and your heart in the center but pointing to the left, it's the opposite, baby. It's in the center but pointing to the right. But there is no transposition of great vessels and this is different from situs inversus totalis because situs inversus totalis will have dextrocardia plus transposition of great vessels which is a cyanotic congenital heart disease. Right to left shunt. If you need medical mnemonics, check out this website. They are called Picmonic, Pictured Mnemonics and see the link in the description below. You can get my premium videos, you can get my post notes, my cases, my audio notes, and all of the stuff. If you go to patreon.com slash medicosis, I'll send you all of the slides that I have, including the slides for those videos. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfect Nails, where medicine makes perfect sense.